What's your dream vacation? How's building a business in Atlanta? What's your biggest fear? Would you date a man shorter than you? How's your mental? Would you date a man that have kids? How long do you plan on living in Georgia? Hello, Chico Babes. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and press that bell notification to be notified every time your girl drop. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So I asked y'all on Instagram to ask me some questions to get to know me better. So this what is going to this what this video is going to be about getting to know me. So behind the camera is my sister Lajay. Say hey. Hey y'all. She's going to be asking me some questions, and I'm going to answer them. So let's get into the video. I'm ready. Go ahead. Okay, the first question was, was it hard to start a business? No, it was not hard at all. I just had to really find what I really wanted to do. And you got to have money to start a hair business. You can't just start like, okay, I'm, I'm going to get this vendor and I'm going to sell this stuff because you don't know if they're going to have good hair or you don't know if they're going to have bad hair. So you have to really pick and choose your vendors, like really test them out. Go to multiple vendors. Don't just buy a vendor's list and say, oh, I'm about to um, get this up because this vendor is good. No, you have to really test it out for your own self to know what's good and what's not good. So I ain't going to say it was hard, but I say have money to start a hair business because it's expensive. It's very expensive. So just have the funds to do so. What keeps you motivated every day? Just want a lavish life. Not that my life is bad right now, but I just know I want more out of life. So that's what keeps me more motivated every day. Like just wanting more, like wanting a big house, wanting uh, wanting generation wealth for me and my family at the end of the day. So that's what keeps me motivated every day. What inspired you to start a hair business? Cause I loved it. I was so I had when I was like in tenth grade, and it was me and my sister. We wanted to um start a hair business in high school, but we didn't have the funds to do so. And we was gonna call it what the Pandora Pandora hair box. I don't remember. So, but I've been wanting to do it because it's always fun. It's pretty. It's enhancement for women. Make women feel beautiful. And it just, that's how we express our hair with beautiful luxury hair. Like, even if you want to, like, go longer or go shorter, we can't because it's hair extensions. It's fun. So, that's why. What plans do you have for your business in the near future? To be on hair contracts. To be featured in, like, music videos or Tyler Perry music, movies and TV shows. Like, just having a contract with multiple big hair brands as well being on commercials stuff like that how's building a business in atlanta going hard it's hard because you have to fight through the competition you have to fight through people that's already popular that's already established and you know hair everybody still helps so you gotta fight your competitors like you have to market so it's hard and everybody in atlanta is a boss so you know you have to fight through that so eventually i'll get there I'm not worried how's your mental it's great it's lovely I'm blessed. I thank God every day that my mental is top tier. I mean, I'm not perfect, but it's great. How's life? Life is great as well. Like, like you, you have your ups and downs, but overall, it's great. I'm blessed. Are you single? <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm ready to mingle. What do you dislike about yourself? I procrastinate a lot. I procrastinate way too, way too much. I need to like, when I think about something, just get up and do it. Stop worrying about what other people gonna think or if I don't like this and I don't like that because it's, I saw this um, post on TikTok and it said the fear of you looking stupid was holding you back. And I agree with that 100%. So I just think procrastination is my biggest downfall, my biggest flaw by myself. Other than that, if I beat the eyes with that, I can do anything. Would you ever move back to New Orleans? No. Oh, heck no. <clears throat> no. Those girls are all boobs and no brains. I'm too busy in a library reading books with dust on them. Oh, psh. Sorry, uh, my man. No. I mean, it's going to always be home, but you can't grow up. I feel like everybody bring each other down. It's, no, it's not no good energy there. So I'd rather be around bosses, which is Atlanta. They have a lot of bosses everywhere you go. It motivates you to want to want to do more. New Orleans, everybody just doing the same thing, going out drinking. It's not motivation, well though. Okay. Do you want kids? If so, how many? Yes, I want kids. I want 
a good four, a three. Nothing over four though. I want a big family. That's big enough for me. What's your type of man? God fearing, of course. That's one. Tall, brown skin, beard, smart, charming, compassionate, understanding, humble, fun, funny. Like that. He don't gotta be perfect, but he he can't be no bum. He gotta have a job. A manager at Amazon or whatever you can make your money, but you just can't be no bum. Sorry, you can't be no bum. Okay. But I'm never too ill to say what up. Like it's not that serious. Trust me, I know that. How do you feel about religion? It's religion. Mm -hmm. It's a box. It's judgmental. I just say focus on. I just say. I just. I just tell people relationship. Have a relationship with God, and not just be so religious. Because religious, you judge people. Or you can't do this. You can't do that. But, but at the end of the day, nobody is perfect. Nobody at all. Everybody has sins. So I say have a relationship with God so he can talk to you. You can talk to him and you know what you're doing. You know, you know what not to do. The Holy Spirit going to lead you. So I say relationship and not religion. Okay, good answer. Do you like being a twin? I love it. But sometimes if I can't get it, she can't get it. So that's a downfall. But other than that, I love it. I have my own best friend. I don't need no friends. I have my twin. What do you see yourself in the next five years? Girl, I want somebody to beat on somebody yacht. With my kid running around, my husband, be rich, wealthy, enjoying life, traveling the world, doing what I want to do each and every day. Is there an ex that you miss? No. Period. Yeah. No. Why are you single? Because, I don't know, I feel like people be playing too much. We 26 years old, people, people like to do what... Instagram and social media tell them to do when they don't have a mind of their own. So I'll just wait. Who's the most person you can count on? The number one person you can count on? My mama. She gonna be there every day, every step of the way. She gonna fuss about it. She gonna say, I don't wanna do this and I don't wanna do that. But ultimately, she gonna be there every day, every single time. What's your dream car? AMG, Mercedes, GLE, GLC, Sport, Red Seas, White, mm-hmm, that. <laughs> what state do you plan on moving to besides Atlanta? Probably Houston or Miami. But I feel like Miami, it, it give vacation vibes. It don't give home. I feel like Houston, Texas, it give home. But I don't know. I have to visit to know which one I want to do. And you never know. You might move up north, something like that, California. Okay. You never know. So, I don't know. I don't know. What's your favorite meal to eat? I don't know. I haven't had a good, good, good meal in a long time. So come back to that. I don't know, to be honest. I mm -hmm. don't. Would you date a man shorter than you? No. Short men are mean. They. <laughs> oh, man. Uh... Damn. Short men are no offense to the short men, but short men are mean. They don't know, they don't know how to have fun. They be mad all the time. No, I don't know what they know. I'm short myself, and I can't date no short man looking down on you, baby. No, I want to look up. Mm -mm. No short man. I'm sorry, y'all. Would you date a man that have kids? One. Can't have two. Two too many. Just one. And if you're a good daddy, you're a daddy daddy, and you have a kid, then you can talk to me. You got to be a good daddy. If I date you, you got one child. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. How do you feel about your sister being a last tent? I don't feel no way. I, I still got a bed to get them done. So she a good last time, but I still got a bed, people, and all that. No, you don't. Okay, next question. How long do you plan on living in Georgia? Not long. Probably a good two more years. A good two. Depends on where I'm at in life. It's not a bad place, but I just don't feel like seeing myself here for a long time. I've been living here since I was, what? We was 10? No, we was 9 when we came. 9? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's time to go. Explore something new. What has been your biggest challenge in life? My biggest challenge in life so far was, like I said, just getting up and doing stuff. Getting up and go? Just getting up and doing stuff. Procrastination. That's my biggest. If I tackle that 
and really be on myself i can do anything i can do anything i'm good at marketing i'm good at business if i can just get up and go and not stop being lazy i could that's my biggest difficulty that what do you like to do for fun i like to do chill stuff i like to go to the park go on picnics go to, to the movies I'm not no high girl at all. I'm very, very chill. So if it's like anything chill to the museum, to the zoo, anything like that, that's my vibe. That's my vibe. We can go to the club every once in a while, but that's every once in a while, every blue moon, not no every night. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to do chill stuff at all times. What advice would you give a person who trying to start a business? Have patience and don't rush it. Anything come fast won't last. Oh, that's a good saying. Anything come fast won't last. So just have patience. Just have patience and watch the process grow. Be like, dang, I started from here, now I'm here. And it's gonna make you wanna keep going. So just have patience. How are YouTube born for you? YouTube YouTube is tricky, but it's fun. But it's tricky. Like I said, you can't watch your other peers. You can't watch what they're doing. Because their success is not your success. So just watch the process. I just slow down and just let, let it grow. Let it keep growing every day. What made you get into YouTube? I'll be doing stuff every time. I'll be doing stuff every day. I'm always going going somewhere every weekend. I'm always going out of town or something like that. So just vlog my life. People want to see what you do every day. People are nosy. And it's not even just nosy. People like seeing what you do. Mm -hmm. So you just record yourself doing it. Why not get paid for it? Okay. Good answer. Of the opposite sex. Yes, like having like a guy friend. Mm -hmm. Yes, guy friends are so cool. They so messy. I love it. Even the straight ones messy. I love it. They fun. I love to be around boys. Me. What's your dream vacation? Uh, like like the dream vacation or like Overall, where I want it to be. Anywhere. Uh, I want to go to Dubai or Bora Bora and the villa. A private villa with our private pool with the private beach in the back, mm -hmm. in the backyard. Me just eating, drinking, having a good time. I'm going to go to Greece with the long dress and flip my arm, dressed in the sky for a picture. Oof, I just can't wait to travel. I have so many. Okay. Would you rather makeup or fashion? Fashion. I don't care about makeup. Makeup and me. Fash, all you need is lashes and lip gloss, and then put that put put your clothes on. You good to go, boo. Would you rather no voice or no eyesight? No voice and no eyesight. Mm -hmm. Me, I rather no voice because I don't talk anyway. So, but we can I rather uh uh no voice. I I have to see. I have to see. Most dev. I have to see what I'm doing. I rather have no voice. I could do sign language. Okay, write on a piece of paper or write something. Write on a piece of paper or something. No voice, for sure. Do you plan on working the rest of your life? Hell no. I'm ready to go right now. Can I please? I'm ready to go right now. No. For, for myself, for my business, yes. For that, yes, I work the rest of my life. Like a nine to five? A nine to five, no. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. How old are you? 26 years old, boo. And me, you know, I'm 56 years old. Damn! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, because it was a Sounds, thought. No, no, seriously, it was dude, a thought. It was I'm a not, thought, and I blurted it out. I'm I did fine. not mean it that I'm way. Not, I'm fine. Okay. 26, you young. I'm young. I'm very young. 26, that's young. See, I'll be like, 26 and 30 is so old, girl. 26 and 30 is not old. You in your prime. You still young. You still young. Basically, 26 is what, a six-year-old adult. You still young, baby. You have a whole bunch of time ahead of you. 40 and 50, that's still young. I feel like once you get to 80 and 90, that's when you're old. Yeah. But 60 and all that, you're still young. You still have life inside of you. Go live your life. Have fun and enjoy life. For real. Have fun and enjoy life. It's never too late to enjoy life. Even when you're 80 and 90 years old, you still can enjoy life. If you can good health and you can travel, you can walk and all that. Man, go high, go ahead. Go enjoy life until you die. Say I did this, say I did that, say I did everything across the world. Period. What's your biggest fear? Getting murdered. Oh, touching. 
That's deep. Yes. That's not being saying getting murdered or getting raped. Oh, that's very deep. Yes. And I'm so blessed I never got to experience none of that right now. Right now, don't you mean ever, bitch? Ever. I'm just saying, people experience that. People get raped, people get molested. And for me, I never experienced that, so I'm blessed. So it never say never. That's my biggest fear, y'all. Would you date a woman? No. Listen, I ain't trying to play with none of you hoes. I'm dead ass serious. I swear for God. All that act too, being sad, you know all that. Mm -mm, no. Give me a man. <laughs> I want to feel muscles and veins, veins in my own and all that. I don't want to feel titties. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. That's not my type of kind. Well, thank y'all. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys had fun in this vlog because I had fun talking to you guys if you want to know more questions comment below and i'll probably make a part two or follow my instagram and dm me and i will make and i will keep them so i can make a part two to this video of question and answers my next vlog is going to be on maintenance so be on the lookout for that vlog i need my hair done i need my nails i need my toes i need my eyebrows done i need the whole nine y'all so that's going to be a whole nother vlog for you guys so like that hope you had fun don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to press that bell notification to be notified every time your girl you already know every time i drop love you guys I don't need a light to get it poppin' But these bitches in my penis call me 